Citadel. All right, outgoing mail, that's done. Uh, I'm assuming my bed's over here somewhere. I like chess. I'll take your Radex. Take your Plasma. Ooh, a Fusion Core. I just heard a cat. Probably that one down there. Blood Cat. Rag mine. Personal Log. Ooh. Play that in a second. <sighs> yeah, still editing and recently took up learning Italian. Nice, man. Nice. Haven't played much besides Gwent and occasional Vegas, Age of Empires, Civ, Home 3. Man, Honest Hearts level 1 was so boring. I forgot I'm halfway through. <laughs> what? You, you have... Yeah, Honest Hearts is... Honest Hearts was like a real just like vacation DLC compared to all the other ones. It was okay, uh, but it was probably my least favorite out of the, the DLCs for New Vegas. <laughs> uh, someone, I found found my bed, someone sleeping in it. Which one? Probably this one. Yep, says my name there. Excuse me, sir. Hey. Or, I mean, ma'am. Oh! It's a girl. Nothing Not a... to report right now, Knight. Hey, you're fine. You can sleep in there all you want, you know? I don't have Piper in my life anymore, so, you know, I think you're my new girl. Anyways, listen to this. <laughs> Auto starts is far too easy. The only challenge is gun condition and ammo. Yeah, it wasn't like... My duty shift was long, but I'm glad we're making a difference out here. Damn eyebrows. Um, even though I was leveled when I did it, it was like there was not there was no challenge in there. Not like uh, old world blues All forms of technology or uh, should be dead money. Or All right, let's listen to this here. Personal log entry one forty two. I can sum up living on the Pridwin in four words. Ashley Williams. I miss field assignments. Don't get me wrong, the research we're doing is exciting stuff, but life on this ship is a nightmare. I'm trapped in this metal tube 18 hours a day. I still can't decide who smells worse, the soldiers or the mole rats. And what passes for conversation among the grunts makes mutants seem scholarly. <sighs> I'm going to speak to Proctor Quinlan. Field scribes cannot have it this bad. <laughs> what time is it in game here? 4 19 a.m. Okay. Might sleep in that before we leave or something. Cool. Fusion cells if almost missed me, that. I take every feral, mutie, and synth and shoot them into space. Hey. Okay. Can't tell if that's nope, that guy's moving. I was gonna say I can't tell if that's just a suit down there or hey there. it's a real person. Never turn your back on it. Whoa, yes, man. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your duty to report it immediately. Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, territory and I'll take on the world. Your vigilance could mean the difference Hesitating between life to pull the trigger and death. On any of the Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Ad victorium, squires. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Dismissed. Oh, these are kids. Squire. I don't see what the big deal is about dying. It's a lot like sleeping. You just don't wake up. Carry food with uh. you or you'll end up eating some. Squire. Pretty questionable Victorian things Knight. to stay alive. Squire. Sorry, Knight. I need to attend to my duties. Squire. Hey. So you're the new Knight I heard about. Glad to have you on the team. Yeah, man. The Pridwin is a magnificent ship. And we're lucky to have her in our arsenal. So many, like, multiple decks inside here. Like the very like we already went through the bottom. We already went through the entire middle section. I guess this is another level. There. There's another level up That's there. Cool. Thank you, sister. You know, that looks like the bottom. Worry about them getting out if they weren't on the ship. Your concerns are noted, scribe. Give Proctor Ingram my thanks for letting me borrow you. Feel free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you are injured. Oh hey, that was uh, you on the holotape that we just listened to. Except you were a scribe. 
So apparently that was like when you were a lot younger, I guess. Um, the longer I delay Honest Hearts, the longer I won't have to do Lonesome Road. Oh man, level one Lonesome Road. Oh, just say something already. Yeah, I know. Are all these creatures yours? Well, they're an important part of my research, if that's what you mean. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad-X. Those were different names? Oh, were they? They, they kind of looked similar, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's obviously that she doesn't have the Ashley William voice, so it, yeah, that makes sense. What do you mean, crack the code? The genetic code? The DNA sequences that are in every living thing. You see, the ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. <laughs> this is the, the voice actress that every time I hear it in this game, I'm always like, that's Triss Marigold from The Witcher. It's not. It's not. I don't know why my brain thinks it's like that, but it's not. Does it roll their faces into keyboards for both? So understandable. <laughs> You're taking time away uh, from my experiments, you know. Uh, the, the genetic codes. Short period of time, why not do it permanently? Why alter it for a short period of time? Why not do it permanently? Attempting to alter the genetic code permanently? That's too close to what happened with FEV and Spawn, the super mutant. I'm not willing to take a chance like All that. All at one. I wish I could show you a sample of the compound, but unfortunately I've hit a stumbling block preventing me from synthesizing a sample. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the I need the a death claw. Uh... I mean, I could do that. Will I get some of that new compound you're developing? Didn't plan on killing, getting killed for science. No, we're science, man. Will I get some of that new compound you're developing? If I make a breakthrough, you'll be the first person I give it to. After I've tested it on myself, of course. I've modified your pit boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood oh, in its nice. body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. This is a MM MMO fetch quest if I've ever seen one, but you know what? I'm okay with this. All I gotta do is just scan. All rats. Yeah. <laughs> uh. They're gonna be playing Fallout 76 day one. Uh. I don't know about day one, but maybe. It kind of just depends, I guess. Um, like, I, I don't think they'll have any sort of like, you know, if they're not gonna have NPCs and stuff, I don't think they're gonna be like, hey, let's put some of this stuff in from Fallout 4. And I, and I like, by that point, I haven't beaten Fallout 4, but uh, I think I'll, I'll probably have Fallout 4 done by that time, but I don't know, man. Um, uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I kind of was real tempted to get, um, that, uh, that power armor edition of the game. Don't touch the experiments. Please. Where, uh, <laughs> you get that actual wearable power armor helmet, but it's like 200 bucks. It sold out, like, too fast. And by that point, I wasn't too sure about the game yet. If you find Super any technical documents... You should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Technical documents. So they've got corpses of synths and a uh, uh, a super mutant, aka Thanos. But uh, 
It takes place way before, so I don't see how they could put uh, Fallout 4 spoilers in there anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, besides other people. Yeah, I mean, you could run into some stuff, but yeah, I mean, you're, you're probably right. Experimental uh, plants. But, but I, I will definitely be checking it out for sure. Um, because, you know, I, I think the exploring the locations is probably worth it alone. Um, because of how massive it's supposed to be. So I think going around exploring locations would be kind of fun. And then if there's like 24 to 32 people on a server and the map's that big, you probably won't be running into people that much. But... They did say that you'll be able to see where everyone is on the map. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that. I don't know how that's gonna be playing solo. Uh, but I mean, it'll just be like playing just a normal Fallout game, I guess. And then if you run into people, hopefully they're not uh, they're not rude. Do we know if there's a proximity mic feature like in Friday Thirteenth? Say, they said sneaking removes you from the map now. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I don't think they've said anything about, like, how you can communicate in-game. There's there's probably going to be some sort of mic option, but I don't know if it, it'll be, like, um, Friday the 13th, where you can only hear it if people are close to you. That's going to be interesting. Fallout 76. Um, hybrid. This is all uh, the plant stuff. Uh, Quinlan's team continue to bring in samples of the local flora. They seem f uh, fairly corrupted by radiation. And some, ha some of them have uh, promising properties, so we'll continue to study them. Our ultimate goal is to cultivate enough hybrids to increase our uh, heterotic... Heterotic? That's... Nope. That's. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say that word. Uh, but I'm going to say it. Uh, if we can do that, we might be able to cultivate new species and create viable alternatives. Plant talk. Uh, I have an unexpected find today. One of our field scribes brought in a small root he found at the mouth of a river. Normally I wouldn't hold high hopes for such a small specimen, but the root is displaying chemical properties I've never seen before. Keep experimenting. This whole slow information release via Twitter answers uh, by Pete Hines is really grinding my gears, especially since Pete Hines doesn't know half the things he says. <laughs> yeah, the the stuff that they, that I've seen like being tweeted out, I don't, I haven't looked at any of that stuff, so I I was like not sure if it was like new information or if it was just stuff that we saw during the the conference or whatever. Um, but if they're putting out more information as they go because I mean they've on they're honestly like kind of figuring out as they go along uh for the most part but um but if they're rolling out information like that I mean I guess that's better than nothing uh new experimental route is doing surprisingly well I've managed to graph pieces to some hardier stock uh yield strong da -da, new hybrid Boil the plant in some water and discover that it makes oddly good tea. Yeah. When I entered the botany area this morning, I couldn't believe my eyes. My experimental root has started glowing. The running tests, I'm 100% certain this isn't radiation, but some sort of bioluminescence. I intend to continue my tests to see what else we can get out of this little wonder. One of my fellow scribes suggests I shouldn't, dr I shouldn't drink tea made from the leaves anymore. But it's really great tea and I don't see the harm. Until your insides start to glow. Alright, I got two more on this uh, the logs here. After some debate, I decided to name my discovery Glow Leaf. Ingesting the plant must have uh, restorative properties because I feel healthier than ever. A few of the scribes on the laboratory team think I'm getting addicted to it. What the hell do they know? Anyone tells me I can't have my cup of glow... Glow leaf tea can stuff it. <laughs> I like that name. I like that. Uh, 
there is so much more since the conference. Like, fast travel is in. You can't be killed by others if you're below level 5. All those things I, I didn't know about. Which is weird because Pete Hines tweeted that PvP... PvP is opt-in, as in request a duel. I don't know anymore. I stopped following it all. Yeah. I, I feel like whatever they have that um, beta, uh, which should probably happen pretty soon, uh, and when people that have access to it play it, we'll probably know a lot more answers from it. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't know about any of that stuff that you just mentioned. Body Scribe has been reassigned. Uh-oh, got addicted to glow leaf. <laughs> okay, well that was kind of worth reading. Blood leaf. Ah. Found near water sources. These are edible, appears to have restorative properties. But it's usually irradi irradiated. Uh, carrot flower. Yep, we have some of those. Hub flower. That. Tato. Uh, it is now a, is a combination of a now extinct plant called a potato and another extinct plant called tomato. Uh, tomato inside. Uh, that's kind of funny. Tato. That's immediately what I thought of when I saw that word. Razor grain. Maybe able to grind in, in order to replace wheat. Cool. We learned about plants, everybody. Another terminal. Chemist. Can I make... Uh, Impacts. No, I still need antiseptics. Boom, boom. Excuse me, Squire. Hail, Knight. This science won't know what hit it. <laughs> Technology's in good hands with the Brotherhood. I'd know. It sounds like he could be. Uh, Have you collected any blood samples, Knight? One of the one of the doctors from. Uh, Old World Blues. Have I collected any samples? Uh, I guess so. Yes, here you go. Is this some sort of a joke? I don't know what that is, but it certainly isn't a viable blood sample. Oh. Do you have any or not? No. No, sorry. Keep trying. There's plenty out there. Oh, I really man. appreciate you searching for the blood samples. As soon as I make a breakthrough, I'll let you know. Everybody says, I remember times when I was sorry for the Elder Scrolls fans because they got an MMO. Now I wish I had... I wish Fallout had an MMO instead. It seems like that's kind of what they're going for with 76. The the um, I'll read that terminal in a second. Let's go around here. Um, but it's more of like in a, a Destiny uh, type of online you game lived until you've tipped a brahmin with a vertiver that i don't know how a, a, a fallout mmo would have worked but i mean it would have been real cool like i can just imagine all the um different ways to to uh make your character and stuff <laughs> uh one of, one of the scribes must have been over here i'm gonna take that It would have been pretty cool though, especially if they would have if they would bring back the um, the skill system, uh, and then like have perks and skill system be kind of a different thing, separate thing on its own, like it was in the the olden days. I'd be into that, because I know Fallout seventy six. They're like using. Do you know what a ten pound cockroach can do to a I don't I don't know if it's been made like. You want to see the Brotherhood's greatest war? Uh, if it's made its way into um, the uh, Forwin Castle, the Forwin Castle, or Castle. I don't know if it's been made like in those tweets or not, but in the documentary that I watched, the way that they want to uh, do the uh, 
the skills and stuff like that is they're basically gonna use cards for it um, so you'll be able to equip like I don't know five cards uh, and you'll be able to find more skill cards or, or perk cards uh, while you're playing the game, but you can only have like a certain amount equipped. So it's like completely different. But that was in the documentary that I watched. All right, let's read this terminal. And then we'll pretty much go back up to the front. We'll talk to the Quinlan guy and then I guess Tegan, which is like the medic dude. But, um, see about that. I can already see myself joining the followers of the apocalypse and maxing medicine to become a cleric of sort. That would be awesome. But, I mean, you know, I joined the Brotherhood, so, uh, I'm gonna need you to heal me, but you probably don't want to heal me because, uh, Brotherhood. That would be, that would be interesting. Uh, personal notes. So this is the lady that's, that wants us to get blood from the enemies in the wasteland. Uh, as we've been traveling towards the Commonwealth, I've been preparing my makeshift laboratory in the rear cargo hold of the Predwin. When we arrive, Quinlan says he'll be sending out several patrols with the express purpose of collecting viable field specimens. My job is to oversee the dissection and study of anything the patrols bring aboard. I've always agreed with the notion that the quickest way to learn your enemy's weakness is by examining them from the inside out. We do that in XCOM. That's, that's how we uh, learn things. I need to play that game again. Um, XCOM 2, that is. I hope I don't have to wait too terribly long to put that, uh, that notion to test. Death to the Brotherhood. Quinlan's collection teams have already brought super mutant and synth specimens on board. I like how I said specimens. Uh, I've collected a fair bit amount, or a bit of data from the remains, but I've yet to discover anything that will give our soldiers an advantage in the field. As far as the super mutant specimens goes, they're quite different from the strains uh, present in the capital wasteland. So most of our atom anatomical records require updates, which takes time. In the synths specimens, they're a complete mystery. The models we recovered are almost entirely me uh, mechanized. Uh, so I've been coordinating with Proctor Ingram since she's our most, or she's our resident uh, robotics expert. I suppose it's only a matter of time before I have some answers. In the meantime, I'm going to begin working on a special project of my own design. The synths. I brought several mole rats aboard for a special project to convince the key to unlocking improved radiation resistance. Um, if they learn to adapt to their radiation blanketing the commonwealth with a little help, we can too. I know most of the crew thinks I'm crazy, but I'm certain that I'm on the right track. I just need as many viable blood samples as possible to make my theory a reality, which is difficult right now since Maxon as most of our team sweeping for technology. Okay. So if we can get some more resistance to radiation or something like that, I'm down to help this this girl out. I read to a stroke of luck today. One of the new recruits has agreed to do a little field research for me and bring back as many viable blood samples as they could find. Really? This just happened. You already wrote this up? I was able I was even more fortunate that they possessed a pit boy. I could modify to extract the blood from whatever creatures they killed during their missions. All you have to do is just wait. Yep. Internal mail. What did Quinlan want? Well, I'm pleased that you're settling into your new role as our medical examiner. I'm a bit dismayed that your attention appears to be focused on your own personal projects. The section of... The section and examination of the super mutant and sense corpses need to be our your need to be your top priority. I may regret placing you in charge of the lab. Um, wants to do her own things, but they want her to do that. Sending the mole rats that you asked for in the next vertebrate. I have no idea what you want for them. 
Those things can bite and they crap all over the place. It's a pain in the ass to collect them alive, so you better have that case of whiskey you promised ready for the re return flight after the pilot drops them off. As far as getting a Brahmin up there, you can forget it. I talked to the pilot and he refuses to shove one of those disgusting things into the ship. Aww. I miss Brahmin tipping. That was fun. Uh, Lancer Kells, I've been informed by several members of the crew that, you, that you're keeping several mole, mole rat specimens. Laboratory air of the ship. Uh, they're filthy and they met an unpleasant odor. Um, gotta have some sort of ventilation system to get the smell out. Gotta remember that you're sharing a space with people who have to eat, sleep, sc scribe. All right, well, pretty much done all in this area. Um, we'll walk down to, th we already walked down to this area, I guess. Um, but we've already done that whole middle section up here. There was just a door that led somewhere. Um, let's see what's over here. There's been a lot of reading here and I kind of apologize for just like reading everything and just Wanting to look at everything. I'll pick that up in a second. Um, but I want to see what all the information they have here is. We're getting close to being done. Oh, dude, you almost knocked that over. Jesus, man. You know, before getting shipped to the Commonwealth, I thought Elder Lions still had some good points. The Brotherhood in the Capital Wasteland, they were about helping. But this assignment... It's opened my eyes. On the flight here, we passed city after city. Buildings taller than I've ever seen. Some that nearly clipped the Pridwin. <laughs> and who uses them now? Mutes. Freaks. Seeing all that destruction, tens of millions dead, brought on by technology run amok, it made it so clear. Elder Maxon is right. The wasteland needs to be cleansed. And we're the ones to do it. She, she was probably referencing, like, um, maybe flying by, like, New York City or something like that. In terms of, like, buildings that almost touch, that, that almost touch the, uh, the Pridwin. Welcome aboard, brother. Oh, Lancer. We... Excuse me. If you're looking for ammunition or weapon mods... Proctor Teagan might have what you need. I guess we don't have to talk to you. I guess Lancer is a rank in the um I'd just leave that if I were you. But but it's dog tag. Someone might need him. I don't I can't remember if there was a guy. Oh, you I think you were the one that wanted those. Somebody wanted uh all that stuff. I'm surprised I didn't clip the Pridwin cuts Bethesda. <laughs> Let's see. Announcements. All technology must be presented immediately to Proctor Quillen for evaluation. You'd be in trouble if you don't. Announcement two. Uh, mole rat are not pets. So uh, don't don't feed the mole rats. Whatever you do, don't feed the mole rats. I'm glad I shot them in the head. <laughs> the mole rats? Wait. The mole rats or uh... oh no no never mind. There's something that you typed that I didn't read. Man, they do love their terminals in the ship. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Raider activity. All requests uh, to off-base sites have been suspended. There's that. Yeah, I can just imagine you just coming on here and just being like, dead, 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 just shooting them all. Now I know what happens. But, uh, or maybe you just didn't come up here at all. I don't know. Uh, please leave your brother's sisters uh, down below. <laughs> Sounds like uh, somebody didn't fasten some gear and it fell down below and hit somebody. Any personnel who have not completed their annual medical evaluation should report to Night Captain Cade. That's where I gotta go. I gotta go get examined. 
Mole rats are preferable to the Brotherhood. Wow. Wow. That's rude, man. 